U.S. Congressman Alan B. West. so much Tom to uh, Vice Mayor McCray, I got it right, and to Commissioner Orlove, and to all of you who have served in uniform, who are continuing to serve in uniform, Sergeant Major, Specialist, and to those future generations that will serve in uniform. It's an honor to be here with you today. And as it says down here, we must remember. What are we to remember today? You know, Remembrance Day came out of the Civil War. And I think the greatest words to help us to remember what is happening and what should be happening today comes from Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. When he talked about remembering those men who had given the last full measure of devotion to this great nation at a time when it was torn apart. We also are here to remember that it was 50 years ago that the Vietnam War began. So all you Vietnam veterans, welcome home. We're also here to remember that it was last year we lost our last World War I veteran, Frank Buckles. We're also here to remember that 200 years ago, we were in a battle in the War of 1812, our second War of Independence. And that beautiful song that Lou Galterio just sang for us came from the War of 1812, where there was men there at Fort McHenry as the fort was continually being shelled by the British Navy. They continued to make sure that that flag that Whistler, a Korean War veteran, is standing there with, continued to fly and wave so that when the dawn came, that Star Spangled Banner was still there. But when I look out across this crowd, one thing does concern me. What's the average age of the attendees that are here today? You know, last night, I sat with my daughters and my wife, and we watched the movie Red Tails because those are the type of stories that we must remember. We must keep those stories going on. The stories of heroism, the story of valor, the story of courage under fire. Because if we don't talk about these things, if we don't share these things with the subsequent generations, our children and our grandchildren, then who will be here 30, 40, 50 years from now to remember the service of people like Stephen Lane a World War II Samaritan. That's what we must do. Those of us that are still here, that fought on those battlefields, we must continue to tell the stories. Because our brothers and sisters who have gone forward are looking down upon us. And they're shedding a tear because they don't want to be forgotten. Being at World War II, being at Korea, being at Vietnam, being at the Cold War, being at Desert Shield, Desert Storm, being at Iraq, being at Afghanistan. We are the land of the free because we have always been the home of the brave. So when I think about what today is and what we should remember, and since it is Sunday, I want to preach a little bit. Go to Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8, where Isaiah was standing before the Lord and it was said, whom shall we send? Who will go for us? And Isaiah responded, here I am, send me. Or go to John chapter 15, verse 13, where it says, no greater love hath one than to lay down his life for his friends. As we go forward today and each and every day, tell the stories of the people that we serve with to make sure that they are never forgotten and always make sure that there is someone that says, send me, willing to live in this great nation and sacrifice for all of us that are sitting here today. May God bless you all, but may God bless those, our heroes, who have gone on before us, that all of us who have served in uniform, we will see in that very special place that God has off to the side for warriors of this great nation. Thank you very much.